just to confirm, uh, Mr. Mead, in consultation with Mr. Ragsdale and your CFO, that was unilaterally your all's decision to make the release prior to the sequester, plain and simple. Uh, that's correct. Okay. Uh, now, so the sequestration really had nothing to do with your decision. Is is, is that correct? Because it was done prior to March 1st. The sequestration was always looming in the background. The principal uh, driving forces were that we were uh, running hot. Uh, in other words, we were maintaining over 34,000 beds. We had a shortfall in the breach bond fund, and we needed to make sure that we ended the CR, because remember, our funding literally ended at the end of the CR. We didn't have another six months of funding. We had to get that right. Were we cognizant of the fact that the that sequester was looming? Of course we were, and we uh, contemplated that. But the principal reason was to get right within the budget by the end of the CR. Okay. I have a three-part question. It's been reported that the detainees released by ICE are under supervised release. In the past, detainees have, already, have also been placed on the non-detained docket, which averages something like six years in the system before processing compared to roughly 40 days or a 40-day average for those in detention. First question is, how is ICE treating the detainees currently being released? Second question, are all released detainees being placed on supervised release or another form of supervision? And the third question is, what exactly does supervised release entail? All right, so let me take those in turn. So yes, everybody is under some form of supervision. Now the law provides for different kinds of supervision, all the way from alternatives to detention, which is a formal program appropriated by the Congress, to orders of supervision, orders of recognizance, and a bond. The vast, the, the, the largest number of people on the non-detained uh, docket, over 150,000, are on some form of a bond. There are about 20,000 people that are on ATD, and the rest are on supervision, recognizance, or some combination. These are not exclusive to each other. Um, so, and, and I'm happy to work with the committee to get the, the breakdowns. We, uh, my sense of it is the largest number of people will be on uh, some order of recognizance or supervision, which you, means you have to report in, you've got to give us a call sometime. Some people will be on ATD, some people will be on bond. Um, and uh, you are right that the non-detained docket takes much longer than the detained docket. The detained docket uh, moves with some speed. Uh, depending on where you are in the country, the non-detained docket can take many years. If you'll kindly provide that information to the to the to the committee, thank you, Mr. Chairman. I yield back. Mr. Cuellar, 